Hello and welcome to this video. Today I want to tackle a topic that is hardly talked about. Unfortunately, due to hard economic times, it's happening every day. People are losing their jobs on a daily basis. Today I read in one of the dailies that one of the major milk processors is closing a cooling plant in Wundanyi. That means job losses. What if you got to your office and got a letter from your employer telling you that you are no longer their employee? They'll do, the HR will do a very nice letter telling you it was nice working with you. However, they are not able to sustain you. They are not able to continue paying you. And they have to let you go. Are you prepared for it? Today I want to speak to the employed people, the salaried people. Are you prepared for such an eventuality? Because it has become so real in our country due to the hard economic times. And you know when you get employed, you get assured of a salary and it's usually paid on a certain date at the end of the month, you know. And I know for most employed people, this makes you comfortable. It makes you, you, you never imagine of a day when your employer can actually tell you your services are no longer required. And so you get into that comfort zone of uh, uh, living a life that is not uh, well thought out. And when you get such a letter for most people, they are in shock because you don't know where your next meal, where your next rent will come from, where school fees will come from. So today I want us to address the people who have this resource called a salary. And you know, for young people, I remember when I was employed, for most people, you get a lot of money that you are not used to. And so every weekend becomes a spending spree. You go out with your friends, you go out with your buddies, you, you buy, you know, everything is on me. And you spend a lot of money and most of the time you have no idea where your money is going. And for the beginners, they work on, you buy expensive things, you go on spending spree, you have to change your seat, you have to change your dining, you have to change your fridge, you know. You have to change everything basically in your house. But today I want to talk about, are we prepared? Are you prepared for a job loss? And you know, that salary is very good. It has its pros and cons. And one of the good thing about it is that it's an assured resource that you have at the end of every month. So you can be able to plan for it. You know, I'll be getting so much on this date so you can plan then you are able to make commitments you can commit to a loan or a mortgage or a car loan and say i want to pay this much for this loan because you are assured you'll get that money every other month on the flip side you'll find it's expected income so it has expected expenditure that is the irony of a salary you have you're earning so much and your expenses are already determined. They're already there. So you'll find the salary comes in. By fifth, you're already broke and wondering how you will make it to the end of the month. So it makes you get into a comfort zone. And you cannot imagine not having it. A delay would mean putting your life on hold. You can imagine if not in disarray, because you, you, you wouldn't even know what to tell your, your landlord. You'd have no rent, no fuel, no food, no school fees. And that is the situation that most employed people find themselves. So it's important to come to our senses and audit our lives. What do we do with this resource that we get? Some it's every 24th of every month or every 30th of every month. What do you do with that resource called a salary? 
Because you need to audit. Where is your money going? Are you the type that entertains friend, friends every weekend and spend five to 10,000 or 50,000 or there are people who even spend millions entertaining friends? Is it going to pay in cable TV? Is it rent? Is it buying, impasse buying of clothes and stuff, especially for ladies? You know, when you get the money and you walk and when you walk along a boutique, you just feel like those clothes are just calling you, you know? And you get in there and you fit and you can't help it. You just buy that dress. Where is your money going? Determine where your salary is going. Because whatever you are able to identify, you are able to manage. So make sure you identify. And this will help you to come up with a budget. A budget is simply putting the money, your money where you want it to go. So you tell your money, this month I want you to pay for me this, 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 this. And you're able to manage your money. You can explain where your money is going. You live with an understanding of this is my financial goal and this is where my money is going. That way you are able to set money aside for your expenditure. You are able to set money aside for your savings. You are able to put money aside to invest. So once you come up with your budget, make sure you are disciplined. Make sure you follow through because creating wealth especially for a salaried person and even those in business would require discipline. So if you set your money, unless something very major happens, make sure you stick to your budget. So the next thing that I want to talk about is save. A budget helps you to identify some of the areas you're spending so much money that can be spent investing and creating wealth. For example, if you use 200 for lunch every day. In a month, that is 6,000. So if you carried lunch from home, you can save 6,000 every month. And in a year, you can multiply that times 12. That's some good money that you can invest in blue chip company shares and start creating wealth. If it is going out with friends and spending 5,000, 50,000 on a weekend. You can imagine what that money can do for you, yeah? Multiply 10,000 or 5,000 times 52 weeks. That can buy you a plot somewhere. It can buy for you a car. Actually, you can buy a car in three years, cash. So put a saving plan and save and invest at the same time. So if you save 50,000 this month, plan to invest that money. Don't hold it in your bank account for so long because uh, banks give you almost nothing on your savings. So where, I'm, I'm sure you're asking, where, what can I do with this money that I've saved? Start small. Don't despise those humble beginnings. Start by buying those shares, buy some Coop, say cooperative bank. I don't work for Coop Bank. I'm just using Coop Bank as an example. Their shares are about 15 shillings. The 6,000 that you, you saved for lunch, divide by 15 shillings. That will give you 400 shares every month. 400 shares every month. So in a year, you have close to 5,000 cooperative shares. Simply by saving your lunch, 200 bob every day. And I'm sure during weekends it's even more. You spend on pizza, 1,000 bob. So it's even more than that. So imagine if you did that for 10 years. How much would you be owning in terms of shares in a blue chip company? Buy plots. Go to the counties and get some, some good pieces of land. Buy unit trusts, buy treasury bills, treasury bonds. They pay so well. You can get a treasury bond, especially the infrastructure bonds. They are tax-free and they give interest rate, a coupon rate of about 
12%. Imagine 12%. Paid twice every year. It's usually semi, semi-annual. So you get a payment depending with when you, you bought the bond. You have some cash flow to keep you going. That is the beauty of investing in government bonds and bills. You are assured of getting your interest or your coupon when the central bank said they will pay you. So invest, invest, invest. Grow your money. I have a case in point where somebody about seven years ago, they invested in a piece of land, a quarter of uh, a quarter plot of land somewhere along Thicker Road. And they bought it at about 700,000. And I can tell you, land appreciates, especially in this Nairobi. And even in the counties, it's a place to watch. So they bought it at 700,000 and today it's worth over 10 million. So what can you do with 10 million today? You can actually buy a car, a house, cash depending with your goals. That's why I'm saying use the resource that you have today to grow your wealth. Use what you have today to grow your wealth. I know most of the time, salary people complain that uh, I never got an increment. My salary is not enough. But what are you doing with what you have? You know, I've learned in life, it's not even how much you earn. It's not even the position you hold. It is how much are you able to set apart and invest that makes the difference. Another case in point, there was a messenger and an executive director in one of these prestigious companies in Kenya. And... You can imagine the messenger, the salary was not much, but he had very few expenses. This guy used to live in his own house. He had known the secret of buying assets and liquidating them to buy yourself a home. And he used to walk to the office. It was The office was very near his home. And that time, messengers used to be given uniform. And so the guy never had expenses of buying clothes. He used to wear navy blue suits from Monday through to Friday. And he used to save a lot of what he got and invested in shares. And I remember one of the shares that he had invested in was one of the Kenyan banks. One of the best performing banks in Kenya. He had actually 30,000 shares. And so the company announced a share split. So the shares were split by 10. One is to the ratio of 10. So he had 30,000. Now he was holding 300,000 shares. What happens to the share, to to the price of the shares? Of course, it was uh, divided by 10. It came to about uh, 30 shillings. From 300 to 30 shillings. But believe you me, the same share grew from 30 to 65, my friend. So multiply 65 shillings times 300,000 shares. The guy made money like he had hit a jackpot. So this guy could buy any type of a car that he wanted. He could live in any neighborhood that he wanted. Yeah. On the other side, the manager, the executive was well paid. But he chose to live in a very expensive neighborhood. And of course, he was paying rent. He had taken his children to very expensive private, or is it international schools? Using his salary. And so at the end of the month, his salary was all taken up. And sometimes by fifth of every month, he was looking for Shylocks 
to help foot his bills because even his car had to be upgraded he had to drive the latest vehicle in the market what am i saying it's not about how much you earn it's about what you do with the little or the much that you earn that makes a difference so today i hope that you make the right choice choose to audit your expenses choose to know where your money is going be deliberate and decide that you're not going to spend on things that are not important because wealth creation is about sacrifice it's about discipline it's about knowing what you want your vision what do you want to to become where do you want to be 5 years from today 10 years from today put your vision and draw it and put it somewhere where you see it every day so that it gives you a motivation that this is where i want to go this is what i want to achieve and that way you'll be able to set apart funds that will be able you that you'll be able to invest and increase your wealth there's this fallacy that people employed people you get your salary and sometimes you feel rich around 30 there yeah? because you have a lot of money that richness is the liquidity that you have at that point in time but if you're told today live you cannot even be able to sustain yourself in this narobi for another one month or two so choose wisely make sure you save have an emergency fund that can take you for about 6 months just calculate what are your expenses what do you use then multiply it times 6 it will give you a guide but it is likely to go up because your medical expenses will not be covered you know when you are employed your employer takes care of your medical but once you leave employment you will need to take care of such bills give yourself about 6 months as you look for something else to do another job a business or something like that so i hope you learned something today thank you very much for watching i'll be doing a series on how you can invest your money how do you buy t bills in kenya how do you buy t bonds how do you invest in unit trusts how do you buy land how do you buy your own house without a mortgage in 5 years and i hope to see you in my next video